So, what is our next exercise? Once upon a time, some of them asked me, how can we import the sample SAP UI5 SDK programs and run them on my business application studio environment? So SAP provide lots of samples for different different examples and reports. Like in this example, you can see there is a sample program for loading the filter bar and working with the dynamic page with the data. Yes. So this is a sample program and the sample code is also available over here. You can see all the objects are readily available over here with the demo data also. So if I want to run this entire application as it is, what it is visible here and you know quickly develop a small report program for my company and help them. How can I do that? How can I upload this whole thing in the BAS and run it quickly? So first step is to download this source code. We can click the download button. It creates the zip file and downloads it in our computer. That's step number one. Then we switch over to our business application studio, the so-called BAS in BTP. And then we will import this zip file. So there are two ways to import. You can first extract in your computer and import. And second is you can import directly the zip, whole zip as it is. So let me show you importing whole zip as it is. So I can say new folder. Remember, you must be in the projects directory, create a new folder. And I can say sample SDK. And then what I'll do is I will import the entire zip file inside. So I will say upload and I will choose the sample and I uploaded the zip file over here. So I have got the complete zip file over here in my folder. Yes. Now, of course, you can't run it. It's a zip. So remember the business application studio is actually nothing but it's a it's running behind the scene on a Linux computer. So you can just go back and check a program to unzip Linux. How to unzip a zip file in Linux terminal. So in the Linux, we have so many easy commands. You can see unzip the file name and the destination folder name. Yes. So we can come back and we can just do the same. So we will open a new terminal now. And we will go to this directory sample SDK. And then we will run this command unzip the file name. The file name is sap.ui. You can press tab key. It takes the full file name of the zip file dash D destination. And I can say my list repo. Congratulations. You can see it has created my list report and the entire application is right over there extracted. So you don't need to extract anything by yourself. Yes. So now you can delete the zip. If you want to clean up everything, just be careful. And what we will do is we will follow now the proper folder structure of UI5. So we will create a web app folder now. And this is exactly you need to follow actually if you want to work with it. And then copy everything except the package JSON and UI5 YAML inside the web app. So you move all the things to the web app directory, the controller, the HTML, the manifest, and the component JS. You moved. And the index should be outside, right? Index should also be inside. And then move the package JSON oh. and UI5 YAML in the main folder sample SDK. So they should be outside the web app folder. And this is zip extracted folder we can remove. We don't need that. Actually, just have a cleanup approach. The folder structure is extremely important when it comes to running the exercises. Now we can just close everything back. It's giving me an error for spec version. It says Problem loading this spec version. No problem. We can just change to 2.6, I think, or 2.0. I don't know. That's okay. We can also also ignore it for time being. You see, 2.0 worked. I think when I close, it's working. And next step will be 
now package json is there so you need to do npm install very important this will download and install all the dependencies required from the node package manager in your local project folder yes so this is the next step and then we will have everything available over here in the folder once it is done now we can just go ahead ui5 serve and check and of course if any problem comes we will get to know so you say it says cannot find not could not find required manifest json file no such file or directory why go to web app where is my manifest json it's there why it is saying cannot detect cannot find there is something wrong it is unable to detect our manifest.json file it is actually looking in sample sdk folder you see it's looking manifest in sample sdk folder but it is inside the web app yeah it's inside the web app so we need to go back and check this issue why it's looking in the web app let me just check it should actually we should go back and check here the index html and you see we have this folder path current working directory yeah, all this so basically it is looking for it is looking for the manifest in the sample sdk only it's it's not looking it outside so there is something wrong we need to check the manifest it's looking in the direct folder so this is a this is a common problem let me just check how can we help or tell the computer to not look manifest in the that folder so manifest is looking in the same folder in the not in the web app folder it's not going inside the web app actually so we can just maybe the project is checking is sap.ua.com right? so i mean our project is sample sdk is it because of that maybe but let's see we can fix it so we need to follow proper structure actually so that should be fixable don't worry we can just check so you can see here we have data setting and i think we can give here the address so dynamic list page report this is the address and we can just add here the current directory slash web app as a path let's try this one no it's still looking okay so there's a quick fix maybe i can just take out not keep everything in web app just take out back these files directly in sample sdk that's okay it's not detecting the web app actually so you take out everything out no problem let's give it a try now and just do you have a serve yes there you go you can see it works let's open and we got everything let's open index html and now it's just fetching all the required dependencies you can see it's still moving on the top yeah which means it's downloading all the required de dependencies on which my project depends on it's taking a bit of extra time you can also check the network call what it is doing at runtime <clears throat> so sometimes it is it requires to load the ui comp library so as i see that sample which we've used contains the smart controls which is the comp library controls so that's why it's taking a bit of time so let's see that waiting for it to download all the required dependencies you see it is still cooking something it's downloading everything you see see it's still downloading the mobile theme fury 3 theme yes you see in the console you can always check what it is doing actually yes and if there are any errors we will also get to know them in the console directly so that is exactly how we can check what exactly it is doing so it's taking a bit of time you see it's downloading the resources and now some of the resources might fail also but that's okay and at least it doesn't it's a well tested application by sap and now i can also search go and you see it's searching wow awesome Anubha. awesome i want only the projectors go you see only projectors are filtered out 
So one of the sample, we took a complex sample and we've executed. So for time being, I think one step which we did wrong or extra was web app. It's okay. Maybe it's just a path problem which we need to. I need to analyze this code to fix this path problem. Then only web app can work. But for now, simplest form, form create a folder, upload the zip, extract the zip, and simply npm install UI5 serve. That's it. You can run the sample programs directly on the best tool. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Yeah. That's what I think I'm going to say. Even I'm getting the errors. Okay, now you can follow the process which I showed you and it should work fine. Thank you so much once again, yeah. everyone. Smash the like button, share the channel with your friends and colleagues. If you feel my work is helping you to resolve your issues, have a nice day and I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye.